Our single star, the Sun, has been warming and supporting life on our planet for hundreds of millions of years. But what would happen to us, to other living organisms, to the planet, if the Sun suddenly exploded? Let's imagine such a scenario and try to understand what would happen afterwards and what consequences we would have to face. Scientists have repeatedly stated that the thermonuclear reaction, which occurs inside the only star in our system, can destroy not only the Yellow Dwarf, but all the nearby planets. This could happen because of the premature aging of the Sun, process that accelerate the star's wear and tear and shorten its life cycle. After all, the maximum lifespan of a star is 10 billion years. Four and a half billion years of this term the Sun has already lived, so the only star has a measly 5.5 billion years to go before it dies. When a huge star is turned into atoms, it turns into a supernova. Trillions of tons of dust and gas are ejected. From this building material, new worlds are born. But a star going supernova is most often the last event for planets already formed, such as the Earth, Mars. Venus, Mercury, and others. None of the destruction scenarios for Earth group planets, oddly enough, involve an explosion directly. When the Sun begins to die, it is predicted by the scientists to increase in size and likely become significantly colder. The exact scenario of a solar explosion doesn't exist so far, and everything related to speculation about the death of an entire planetary system is purely theoretical. For example, the scenario of burning out all life is not the only one. There's another direction, cooling after the explosion. Such an explosion will not break the integrity of the Sun, but will stop the thermonuclear reaction. The yellow dwarf will stop emitting heat and light. Planets such as Earth and Mercury, according to the scientists, will freeze in just one month. The Sun not only warms the Earth, but also keeps it in a comfortable orbit. If the central star explodes, one fine morning, Earthlings will find that they are far from their usual habitat. If the Earth doesn't burn up, it may leave the solar system, or rather what is left of it, and become a rogue planet. If the Sun explodes, the way filmmakers and sci-fi writers imagine it, the planet will not turn to steam. And while scientists have abandoned the original scenario, which envisioned burning the Earth's surface and soil down to the core in 8 minutes, other options are not much better. Space experts have noted that some versions of the solar explosion will simply sterilize the day side of the planet at high speed. Animals and other living organisms will be incinerated by temperatures of several million degrees. Even bacteria and other protozoan organisms could disappear in such a scenario. Water and all volatile gases will evaporate irretrievably. Further, the globe will crack little by little from the cold, and the planet will be outside the inhabited zone. All this splendor, Earthlings will be able to watch melted and burned with their own eyes. The fireball will reach the Earth in a day or two. This event will be accompanied by a bright flash, which will blind many people. Experts and physicists cosmologists note that by the time the Sun reaches the state of explosion, people will learn to colonize other worlds. There are a huge number of places to move to. Living conditions that are similar to Earth have already been discovered on the planet Proxima b. The exoplanet is 4.2 light-years away and orbits the red dwarf Proxima Centauri, 